Hey guys, Buffner Gaming back, bringing you another video, and today in our weapon conversion series, we're going to cover another M4 build, this one being the M4458 SOCOM build. So this is more of a caliber conversion based on a real-life project that took place to create this 458 SOCOM round. So we're going to be using it on the M4 as it was intended in real life, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, what I'll do is, this is our final build of the rifle. So let me strip this down and... What we actually have here is I'm going to start with the I'm, I'm using the pursuit blueprint just because it gives me that black pistol grip. But again, you can really use any M4 build you want with this. So if I start with my base, this is my pursuit blueprint that you get in the battle stream for free. Or maybe this is one of the paid ones. I have to look. But this is the first blueprint you get. This is the pursuit. You can see the black pistol grip there. And that's particularly why I want this. There are some other options for this weapon if you go back and check out the M4 video. But let's strip this down to a base M4. And this is what you would start with no matter what M4 build you have. So for the muzzle for this one, we're going to go with a monolithic suppressor. And I'll get into the reason why we're using a suppressor um, later in the video to fit the, in real, the IRL model of this particular build we're doing. So monolithic suppressor. Pros here being sound suppression and damage at range. The... Cons being the ADS speed as well as the aim walking speed. So we can really do any suppressor we want here. If you Typically, if you don't want to take the hit for the ADS speed, you can go with a lightweight suppressor here as well. But for this purpose, we'll go with the monolithic suppressor. Now for the barrel, we want that FSS 14.5 tacklet. So this gives us the M4 build. As long as you're not using this on the XRK blueprint, you'll get this particular barrel cosmetic that you see here. So this is obviously going to increase our pros being the ADS speed, con, bullet, velocity, because we're taking a different size barrel. So the 14 and a half inch, that's our M4 barrel here. Laser will skip for the optic. I'm going to go with a standard holographic. This one's personal choice here. You can choose whichever one you prefer. The stock, I'm going to leave this one actually blank. And instead of going with like a forged tack or even an M16 stock, I'm going to leave it to the standard Magpul stock there. So we'll keep that. Rear grip and perk, we're going to skip. And now the real key to this conversion is going to be the 458 SOCOM round. So obviously this is a conversion kit for the high caliber 458 SOCOM being Special Operations Command is what SOCOM is an acronym for. Ammunition to increase stopping power and obviously the rate of fire is going to be effect affected and go down because of the larger rounds. So pros being damage and range. The cons being we're taking a hit with the rate of fire, the aiming recoil stability, and the magazine capacity is going down from what would be a typical 30 round to a 10 round with the 458 SOCOM. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then for the underbarrel, we want something to try and control that recoil since it is a heavier caliber. It's going to kick more. So we'll go with that Ranger 4 grip. This is going to give us the recoil control as well as the aiming stability. The cons here being the aim walking movement speed as well as the ADS speed. So... We'll go ahead and do that. This is our final build. Again, if you don't want, if the ADS speed is too low, low for you, you can go ahead and do a lightweight suppressor, and that way you won't take the, the hit for the ADS. But I'll go, go ahead with the, with the monolithic suppressor just so we get that extra range of damage. So this is our final build of the M4 carbine platform for the 458 SOCOM rounds. And we'll get into some more information. I'll show the rounds compared to the standard 5.56 NATO rounds here right now. So you should see that on screen. The 4.58 SOCOM obviously being a much larger caliber weapon. And we'll get into more details about that when we get into the gameplay. Um, and there's specific aspects of the project, which is why we have a suppressor on this. So we'll get into that as well. And this is our final build. So I see um, you could also use this with an M16 build. It was really the 4.58 SOCOM rounds were developed for the M4 and the AR-15 platform. So this is our final build, M4458 SOCOM, our Special Operations Command round. Let's go ahead now, get in game. Let's see how this handles with the recoil. It's going to kick a lot more than a standard 556, and then we'll see how it handles in game. Okay, now that we're in game with our M4458 SOCOM, let's go ahead now and check out the recoil on this. So with this heavier round, we have a 10 round mag here. Let's go ahead now, we're just gonna let it rip and see what that recoil looks like. So you can see, 
very straight vertical recoil. The rate of fire is still pretty decent on this. And we don't have to worry about any horizontal recoil. It's just going to be vertical. So let's try and control it now. So you can see right there, with this particular build, it's actually pretty easy to control, right? So we're not getting a lot of... You don't have to worry about the horizontal bounce. Just pull down slightly. I overcompensated there. But you really don't need to adjust too much for it. Even that initial kick isn't that bad. So let's try it again. So there we go. Pretty... Pretty accurate, right? And obviously these being the larger rounds, the 458 SOCOM compared to the 556, uh, they're going to do a lot more damage. So we use these on our SR25 build just because we don't have the 762 rounds available with the M4 in the game yet. And I believe it's about a two shot kill max. So you can see this is going to be on our M4 carbine. It's going to be medium range engagements to CQC engagements mainly. Uh, with a monolithic suppressor and the barrel here, I think we can also use it at long range if you're going to tap fire it. But very accurate weapon. So let's go now and get in game and see how the M4 ha handles in game against bots with the 458 SOCOM rounds. Okay, now that we're in game with our M4A1 458 SOCOM, SOCOM standing for Special Operations Command is the acronym. Let's go ahead and see how it handles in game. Before we get into that, the you can see right there it just shreds. So giveaway details are going to be in the description. You can check that out in the description. All you need to do to enter that to win two $30 gift cards to pl the platform of your choice, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, is be subscribed to the channel and then comment on the videos below in the description for our CTAR, our HKG36, and then our LVOA. C videos that we did the other day. So check those out in the description below and let's go ahead and get back into the weapon. So here we have the M4A1 with the 458 SOCOM rounds. And you can see, first off, it's just a beast, right? It it's putting people down fast. The only downside being the hit to the magazine capacity that you're having, going from like a 30 or depending on what kind of round you're running, potentially even a 60 round magazine to to the 10 rounds, right? Uh-oh. Let's see here if we can get a two-shot two shot kill. Yep. So you're guaranteed two-shot kill with this. No matter what the range, I believe. Obviously, maybe long, long ranges. But we use these, we use these rounds on our SR25 build. And uh, it seemed to be a two-shot kill almost in every situation there, too. Oh, and I ran out of ammo there. So let's try it again. One, two. He's going for launch. So the 458 SOCOM rounds, oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta use an FAL. So the SOCOM rounds, much bigger than the 556. I'll show comparison of the standard 556 NATOs, which are 55 grain to the, the 500 grain 458 SOCOMs that were initially developed and, oh no. See, that's where the magazine capacity might hurt you, but if you use this right, uh, you should be you should be all right in most situations. You just gotta play, adjust your play style to adjust for the 10 round magazine. Two shot kill, right? Let's switch to single. Let's try and tap fire some guys and see. So this was developed mainly due to the lack of power in the 556 five, rounds. Um, this was mainly discovered Task Force Rangers out of the conflict in Mogadishu, Somalia for Operation Gothic Serpent when the Test Force Rangers noticed that the 556 five, rounds just were not putting people down. One. Can I get that second hit? Two. Okay, yep, so it's a two-shot kill. Almost all range. That's like maximum range you're going to be doing with an M4 anyways, unless you have an M16 build with a longer barrel. But as I was saying, the 556 five, rounds just were not putting down the Somalis in Operation Gothic Serpent in Mogadishu there. Now, one of those things was due to the fact that the Somalis in Mogadishu would chew a, a drug all day called Quat, I believe it's how it's pronounced. And what that would do is make them not feel pain, and it would also curb their appetite, being that it's a famine-ridden country, especially in that conflict. Um, obviously, you know, NATO was trying to supply them with food. So a lot of famine there, so that would help curb their appetite so they weren't hungry, and they would also not feel pain. So as a result of that, the Task Force Rangers in that conflict noticed that the Somalis were not going down with one or two shots sometimes it took more because they weren't feeling the pain they would just keep going almost like a real life juggernaut right so 
they would take a few shots and keep on coming. The Rangers had to put multiple rounds into them to bring them down. So, in a result of that, the U.S. military launched a project to look at a different caliber, similar to some stuff that we see going on today, looking for the 6.8 millimeter round also. But this, the standards for this particular project are that it had to, A, be compatible with the M4 AR-15 platform. It had to be a subsonic round suppressed as well so what this is that's why we're running the suppressor around here is because part of the the initial details of the project was that it needed to be a subsonic round shooting from an m4 carbine ar-15 platform while suppressed and that's why we're running all those features on this particular build of the weapon that we have so as i said in 2001 uh this was 2000 2001 this was launched to investigate and find a new caliber to be compatible and really, all it comes down to is it's a different upper put on a standard AR-15 M4 lower receiver, or lower, so it's an upper receiver change for the weapon. And by doing so, you have that, and then it's able to take the 458 SOCOM rounds. And that's really all there is to it. So it's compatible with your M4 carbine AR-15 builds that way, and you have that increased stopping power with the 458 SOCOM rounds. Oh, that's the front one. So some other, some other calibers that were considered during this were the 762 by 39 that we see, that's a, uh, the Russian rounds, the 9 by 39. They also had what was, what is now the 450 Bushmaster and some other rounds as well. And they all kind of fell short. They also looked at the 50 Action Express, which at the time just wasn't as um, developed as it was today. So this, the 458 shares a lot of similarities with the 50 Action Express that we see the Desert Eagle firing game. But you can see this thing just sh straight up shreds, right? This thing is an animal. Even with a suppressor on it, it keeps your sound suppression undetectable. And the damage is still very, very high. Two shot kill again, any range. So let me know what you guys think of this particular build. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. So, is there a guy behind me? Let's see if we can catch someone coming down here. So as I noted, the cartridge was designed to be 100% compatible with the M4 platform, AR-15 platform. Um, this included the buffer, buffer spring, NATO magazines, many uh, aftermarket 223 for the magazines use that standard so we have the standard uh, stenag mags that we see with the M4 or 15 platforms and a lot of the NATO NATO magazines there especially in game here so what it was done is designed to be compatible with those magazines as well instead those 556 five, rounds double stack in those magazines if you've ever loaded one of those um, they double stack then you fit 30 rounds. So with the SOCOM obviously being a larger round, they single stack. So if you have a 20 round, if you have a 20 round Stenag mag for the M4 AR-15, you'll fit seven 458 SOCOMs. And if you have 30 round NATO mag, Stenag mag, you'll fit the 10 SOCOM, which is what we have here. They just they just changed the caliber on us. So let me know what you guys think of this M4A1 458 very powerful i like this build a lot i have used it in game and it's extremely effective so let me know what you guys think i would say as far as viability it's extremely viable for in game especially objective based game modes like your, your s and d's and other things like that so let me know what you guys think below and until next time buckner gaming out